Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number 22 of Let's Play The Old Gods Hungry, Hungry Carpathia. So, I know I've been playing this one quite a bit. It's There's been a lot of videos for this series that have gone up in a row, and uh, some people are requesting me to play some of the other stuff again, but I'm kind of, I just, I like how completionist this one is, and I think I can probably wrap it up pretty quick. So I think I'm going to power through it and just see if we can, you know, finish taking over the rest of the world. Um, and then maybe I'll just play on speed 5 to see if we can convert everything. You know, this is a Carpathian utopia. Obviously. The lowest opinion of the person of us right now is at 1. And apparently I hold too many duchies, so I can fix that. Um, we've got that duchy, that makes sense. Why do I have this duchy? I don't want that duchy. Here, you can have it. You can have gallery. There we go. So now the lowest opinion person of us is at 11. <laughs> and it's the Pope! <laughs> what? Why is the Pope my vassal? That's hilarious. Okay, not counting the Pope, the lowest opinion is at 63. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, and he's Bulgarian. Um, why is the Pope my vassal? Is it just because I hold Rome? You son of a bitch. Can we convert him? I wonder if it's possible to make a, a, a proper cultured Pope for us. Anyway, let's continue to press forward. Uh, this seems like a bad fight. Why am I doing that? Um, these guys will be there soon? Yeah, 27th, so... Okay, now I understand. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, I was just slowly advancing my men, and taking everything in the contested title of the Abbasid Dynasty. We've lost my Spymaster, how sad. Okay, so, we should probably then take half there. And half stay over here. These guys are kind of outnumbered down here, but I, I think they'll be okay. It'd actually be kind of nice if I could send some reinforcements. I think there's a crossing here. It doesn't say it, but I'm pretty sure that there is. Let's see. Yeah, there is. Yep, good, good, good. Okay. Forward. Surrender. Okay, so like actually all of this is already conquered. So how about you guys go there? You guys can go here. There. And we'll send this one. Just let's just send them like way the hell down there so that they can start marching and get started on whatever nonsense there is down there in that corner. Another peasant revolt. Yay! <clears throat> I'm actually losing one pretty pretty handily here. Let's see if we can figure out. He's assaulting all my stuff. That's not cool. Can I raise more men anywhere? Maybe in the most recently conquered provinces, perhaps? No? Apparently not? Is there not some sort of... Why are there no ships? Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to have, like, a... a... Why did I just do that? I'm gonna have to have like a portable army to actually send around. So let's take, um, apparently I already have a ton of ships. Let's just take... Okay, I'll do that. I'll take these guys here. Yes, yes, more prisoners. I wonder if I can actually get rid of that alert, because I don't really care. Can I, I mean, can I please get rid of this? I don't care. I know I have prisoners. I have 126 of them. We have plenty of prisoners. More than enough to go around. Okay, so these boats will take care of invasions. Peasants. Peasant rabble. Yes, 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 yes. Prisoners. And my son became a charismatic negotiator. He's attractive. How nice. He needs a wife, so... Uh, I think we should pick... Uh, what kind of succession am I on? I'm still under Gavilkind, that's right, I can't actually change it from Gavilkind until we reform. So, I don't really want him to have a tremendous... Notice how I haven't actually taken any concubines, and that's actually working out pretty well. Here, this one here, this looks good, the Finnish genius. Very high diplomacy for a 15-year-old. Um, I'd be okay with that, let's do that. Accept. Good. Uh, she's being educated by a Grey Eminence, so hopefully she will become a Grey Eminence as well, and uh, we can probably convert her pretty easily. She'll be in our court. 
when she actually she yeah as soon as she gets married she'll come over and she'll be in our court so we should build a demand conversion once she comes of age you can't demand it of children but you can of adults even a lowly 16 year old we'll just send her some money and that'll work just fine meanwhile there's uh, you know sieges and stuff happening have these guys go join that army. This one is done, so how about you kind of chase him down if you can. That one's done, so you can go there. I'm going to split this into two groups and send half of them over there, see if we can take care of that army. And other than that... Things are going okay. Yeah. God, there's so much to manage. Okay, put down these peasants first. So, this is unrelated to the series, and it's, it's kind of... Uh, what's the term for it? Not an anachronism because that's more like what happens in movies when they do things the timing's off, but just like unrelated to the series and out of context, out of time is that, uh, so right now um, I've got a, a slight bit of respite from being around any of the family that I've been staying with, so that means that for about two weeks I get to play with I can play as much as I want whenever I'm home, don't have to worry about any background noise at all and uh I also have a new... I got a 50-foot Ethernet cable, which has dr dramatically improved the quality of my internet um, compared to before. I was using wireless to try to, you know, not imp impede or impose by having cords running all over. But I ended up getting a 50-foot wireless cable, which was, you know, long enough that it doesn't actually need to go right straight through the room. Okay, who's next? That guy. Damn raiders. So that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna play a lot. I think I'm gonna play some Dwarf Fortress again soon, because I haven't done that in a while. And I do want to play it. I like that game. This would be a good week to play Dwarf Fortress. Okay, somebody should move to there. Get the extra money from that. You should definitely advance forward. As should you. You should go there. Yes, yes, let all the prisoners rot. I don't care about the prisoners. They're, they're so Im not important to me. My favorite part about this type of a playthrough is that we get... Not only do we get the invasion CB, but... No one even cares if I keep their levy raised forever, because we're on offensive religion and it's just kind of expected that we'll use our use the troops. It's just it's so silly. Okay, this is the only war that we're actually not doing well with. So let's just find out where that guy is. Okay, so that guy's next. We're gonna get ya! How many prisoners can you have? Is there a cap, I wonder? Like, I'll get up to 255 prisoners and they'll try to process the 256th and it'll just be like, No, you can't have that many, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna imprison the entire world. And then, here's my theory. Any of our prisoners, like some of our prisoners do have money, right? Let's take a look at our prisoners. Say, like this guy. 54 gold, right? His liege is Sultan Umayya. But what if I kill Sultan Umayya and I completely remove him from the map and he has no one else of his religion to swear fealty to and then he becomes my vassal? Then when he dies, I should get his gold. That's my theory. That's logically what should happen. Like, if you exterminate the last bastion of their faith, then they can't be considered vassal to anybody. Oop, I don't want to do that. I just want to dock. Okay, how are these sieges going? That one's going fine. I'm going to send these two to there and there. And this one can go here. And 
How about we grab a couple of these other ones too? Gosh, there's so many of them. Okay, fine. So we'll go. Bam, 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 bam. That'll work. Whatever. Just kind of get down there, you know, spread out. The Abbasid dynasty is kind of large. Oh, wow. That's not good. Who is this then? Is that Persia? It is. It's the Persian army. 18,000 troops. Becoming a pain in my ass. Well, I suppose then I'm going to have to change my mind about that. We'll just take these guys then. 49,000 and rally to there. And just kind of take care of it soon. Combine this. Put some good commanders in charge. Hopefully we don't lose a lot of men in this battle. We will, but eventually we'll work that problem out. No big deal. God, I've inherited another duchy. That was the duchy of what? I've inherited Venice? Oh dear. Uh, that's right. Raise your banner. No, distribute holdings. And now you can have that damn duchy back. I don't want it. Don't you understand? Look at that. See, my vassals are taking care of the peasant rebellion. He's losing. Doesn't quite have enough power to do it, but he's trying. Oh, there's another 2400 coming. He's got this. He doesn't even need my help. Look at that. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's so exciting. Yes, yes, yes. Blasted traitors, I know. But it doesn't even need my help. Yet I get to put him in prison. It's pretty exciting. Okay, so that battle, of course, is not going well. But here come the horde. Here they come. Killed about 5,000 of those men in that battle. Uh, shall we oil up the racks? <laughs> no. No, that's, that'd be preposterous. I'm just going to combine. We're going to suffer a lot of attrition here. Oh, oh my god, 30%. Okay, let's put a good guy in charge, try to reduce that at least slightly. 30, 26% per month. That's, uh, that's a lot. It's like 6,000 men. But it has to be done. I mean, this is like the only army that's actually going to put up any kind of a fight. So, might as well. This army goes there. How that battle with the peasants over here go? Probably need to do a little bit more. Kill! This guy's actually in prison, and yet he's leading a battle. Croatia captured him. Nice. I like when they just automatically surrender to me. That makes it easier. Prisoners! 154. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. How'd that battle go? Oh, apparently they ran away. Little chickens. This 10,000 is going to go after my 5? Fine, we'll just send our death stack at you. Ready? Ready? Here comes. I'm gonna get him. Oh yeah. That's a lot of dead bodies. He's only got 4,000 men left. He's heading to Nizbin. Nizbin. We'll follow him. And I think I'll do this. We'll take these armies, combine them all, split them into groups. 4,000. 4,000. Okay, this is annoying. Close enough. I'll take those three counties again. Okay, so let's just check. So I'm fighting this guy. This is the, the target. So I need to siege through everything that's green right now. I know we've got all that. I know we've got all of this. I need to get... Yeah. I need to advance along this way, advance southward, and then make sure to get these counties as well. So I imagine probably within the next one or so episodes we'll get everything there. And what did this girl become? She became a homosexual gray eminence. Well, at least the gray eminence offsets the fact that she doesn't like boys. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and let them get married. That's fine. It's fine. Fewer babies is okay. 
Unless our dynasty like dies out, that'd be hilarious. Prestige or gold? Uh, well, I guess we'll take the prestige. Couldn't hurt. Oh, we can call in an ally. Ooh, we need your help. <laughs> help us, sir. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. No, 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 no. Where is that woman? Okay, wife. Her opinion of me is very, very low. Oh, it's because... <clears throat> Look at that diplomacy score, goodness. Well, let's just send her some money for now. And then hopefully as the short reign penalty goes away, I will be able to... possibly convert her. And if not me, then my son. Of course, my character is 45 years old with 48,000 prestige, so... He's probably going to live for a while longer. Yes, yes, multiple peasant revolts. Okay, these guys can all advance forward. All of them. Wow. Every single army is ready to advance. Goodness, I need to be more proactive, don't I? So all you guys, okay, fine. One goes here, 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 and here. That should make it wrap up pretty quick then. It'll take a couple months for them to actually get there, but... Which is rather significant. That's ready to move on as well. He's actually coming to fight me, isn't he? He's gonna catch me too. Okay, fine. Give you some good commandos. <laughs> More prisoners. I think I'm gonna go. S I'm gonna siege through all this guy's land too. One, two, three, four, five. So stacks of 4,000. Just because he, he's fighting back, I don't like that. I don't like when they resist, you know? It takes all the fun out of it when they fight back. They're just supposed to l just, just roll over and take it. It's not designed to sound sexual in any way. If, if you're thinking that, then you have a dirty mind. Oh! How'd that just happen? Nice little fan. Yep, good, good. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's a lot of attrition. Yikes. I don't really care. Doesn't matter, you know. By the time they get there, they'll still have enough troops to siege, so... And after we win this war, we'll still have, you know, 375,000 potential men. Increased by the entire strength of the Abbasid dynasty. This army's gonna die, so we'll need to send some more reinforcements that way. These, these peasants are just just offering themselves up. <laughs> we like to stay in your prison, sir. We hear you have warm food. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Please, please let us stay. I want to stay in your prison. <clears throat> <laughs> and then the, the people are somehow still trying to convert us. That's funny. Okay. God, there's so many people. What can we create? We can create stuff. We should create stuff. Let's create king duchies. Let's create this duchy. Sounds fine. Create the duchy of that one. Sounds good. See, the reason why I have so much darn prestige is not really from winning all the wars, but it's also because I'm gaining 34 per month. So I'm gaining like 400 per year. Over 10 years, that's 4,000. The guy's been in power for 30 years, so it just it really adds up over time. Kapua. Sicily. Barcelona. This will be good. Actually, let's make sure that the guy who... Why am I hostile to him? 
this guy actually is helping out in the defense of my invasion of Arabia. What are the chances? Jeez. Um, I'm going to find someone who's ambitious. There we go. Because I want him to attack that county for me. He'll take care of that small stuff. I don't want to, to worry about a single war. That'd be just annoying. And I know, I know. Every time I ever give land to a ambitious character, I get comments about how you shouldn't do that. You should only give it to content people. But you got to remember that even when they are ambitious, the lowest opinion of me in the entire realm is 41. And if I had to, I've got <coughs> almost an unlimited supply of money I could just give away. Okay, so good, good, good. This guy's ambitious. He should attack that other county for me. Eventually, if they warred each other, they would end up uh, creating these titles for themselves, but... We'll just do it for them. That one we don't have all the land for. Could create Sicily. <coughs> we just need a little bit more money, so I think I will do that. I'm going to save up and create Sicily next. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here, and I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.